Blog Talk Radio. Readers Entertainment Radio, where variety is the spice of life. From the award-winning Circle of Seven Productions, my name is David Ewan, and this is Readers Entertainment Radio. My guest today is Laura Tolome, and she is the author of Sacrificial Sex, and she is calling here all the way from Rome, Italy. So from Rome, Italy, let's say hello to Laura Tolome. Hello. Hi, how hello are you? Hello to everyone. <laughs> how are you? Now, now you told me I am um, broadcasting here live. It's uh, roughly 8.30 in the morning, or in the evening, I should say, in western New England, and you are calling, what is it, about 2.30 or something like that? Exactly like that, <laughs> 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> so I, I want to thank you for joining us on Readers Entertainment Radio and giving us a chance to talk about your website and also about your book, Sacrificial Sex. Um, let's dive into that. Let's let's first talk about uh, your website, and then we'll talk about your book. Uh, tell us uh, where people can first of all find out about you. Your website is. It's uh, uh-huh. in Italian. It's called La Lagata. Uh, to spell it correctly, it's L A double A double L A G A double T A dot com. So once again, that website is www.lalagata.com, and we can learn a lot about you. And your latest book, uh, Sacrificial Sex, tell us a little bit about that. Well, it's a very interesting story about, a very fantastic uh, story about this primitive world where there's uh, human sacrifices going on. And uh, there's a stranger who tries to stop this, uh, the sorcerer from uh, sacrificing uh, innocent women. But as you go along the book, you find out that uh, the story is much more complicated than, uh, than what it seems, because it's not just you know, wanting to save the women. There's also a networking going on with uh, other planets that are trying to... Uh, um, control uh, to control people to control genes to because they're making some kind of uh, experiments on on our genes. So it's actually in the end you find out it's a kind of very modern thing, <laughs> not uh, not so primitive and uh, and also and also you discover that uh, sacrifices aren't always what they seem to be. I mean they're not just the primitive kinds, but they're also very very modern. Now, we had talked uh, on air, uh, this book just was released in March of this year, so it's hot off the press. What are some people saying about it? Well, uh, they're intrigued by it, especially by by its ending, because uh, it kind of leaves uh, a lot of solutions open, and it it makes them think about, really, what, what is going on also in our society, because, as I said, it also addresses some issues regarding the uh, all these um, scientific knowledge about uh, genes, about uh, um, medical, uh, how, how do you call it? <laughs> I, I can't I can find the words right now. Yeah, but but all the scientific experiments that that are going on, you know, with the human cells. So. This is taken inside the book in a way, in a, of course, in a fantastic way. But uh, still, when people read about it, you know, they kind of wonder what's going on uh, today in our world as well. Now, another thing we talked about before we went on air, we talked about um, Sacrificial Sex is coming out now. There was another book that just came out in January. And, and what's the title of that book? Divinitas. And that just came out, and that had to do with love, betrayal, destiny, the ingredients connecting two men's lust to their guest, uh, their quest, I should say, of the divine as spirit defeated by flesh falls short of creating divinitas. And there's more about that on your website. And you also have uh, this summer coming uh, another book. And uh, the question I asked you was, wow, um, you've got these books just coming out now. And it's like one, two, three, so quickly. But what happened before? You had books written in Italian, 
yes. um, previously, didn't you? Yes, I did. Uh, and uh, I sold them, I contacted them to editors, uh, to publishers here, only that we don't have uh, e-books. I mean, we do have them, but they're not as popular as in America. So, I mean, my books just uh, are waiting on in, uh, in order to get published because uh, all they do is printing. And times just are so slow here in Italy. They, they take a, a really a lot of time just to have them published and then distributed and then you have to have ads and stuff. And, and this is all what the publishing companies do, only that they're few, they're little, and they, they're not as organized as in America. And so in the end, uh, you get kind of tired just waiting for their time. <laughs> so now you have, you've done some books, uh, the three that we've just talked about in the United States, and you also have them as e-books, so people can certainly download them. Uh, yes. W w what do you think of the American audience that you've recently met now that you're uh, publishing out here? Well, the... I read, I mean, on the loops, I get uh, a lot of uh, a lot of questions and a lot of interest. Actually, I mean, they're they're very very active. At least in the ebook business, uh, they they keep informed. They they look for new things and um, they like having new authors. Uh, they're very curious about new authors, actually. <laughs> so they ask a lot of questions, and it's really. It's really nice. I mean, I didn't expect this other side of, uh, you know, of the business, so to speak. I, you know, I just, I was just writing and I thought it'd be great to publish, and uh, but I didn't expect all that followed. So it's very nice. Uh, I really think they're very active in this. They, they're not just passive readers. Once again, I just want to let our listening audience know about your website. Uh, which is lalagata.com, and I'm going to spell that. It's L-A-L-L-A-G-A-T-T-A. -L -L -A -A. So one, it's again, it's L-A-L-L-A-G-A-T-T-A.com. And I'm just going to share with people the titles of some of your other books. We've talked about Sacrificial Sex. We've talked about uh, Divinitas. And then here's another one that I'm looking at is Trespassing All Hallows' Eve. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, that was my first release uh, ever. Uh, it's an interesting view on uh, how the myth of Halloween started. And um, <clears throat> it was out October of uh, last year. And, um, well, it's... Um, it's about, uh, again, I mean, I, I've read a lot about alien worlds and stuff. So this is, this too is, um, my heroine is from another world and she comes here and, uh, <clears throat> she tries to stop the, um, there's a boundary between the two worlds that if it's, when it's open, it gets, uh, all these monsters, vampires and stuff inside. So that's where Halloween comes from, according to my book. <laughs> And she tries to stop, you know, this trespassing from uh, from going from one side to the other, and it's uh, really adventurous in uh, in a way, and uh, and intriguing too, because that too you find out that, you know, maybe the boundary is still there, maybe you know the monsters are still going uh, up and down from one dimension to another. And then I'm looking at another one. It looks like it was released um, about a year ago. It's uh, March in 2008. Another one called The Moon Priestess, and it's a short story. Yeah, those are short stories. Uh, I wrote some short stories for my publisher because they came out with anthologies. So The Moon Priestess was a short story for an anthology called Atlantis Allure, and um, <clears throat> it's an, an interpretation of how Atlantis uh, uh, got destroyed, so how, they, how it fell. And um, and then also for another anthology, I wrote uh, Hunted, which is uh, in uh, Sanguinary Seductions, and uh, that too that that received a lot of um, a lot of acclaim <laughs> because people were very interested in it. They wrote to me a lot about it. They wanted to discuss it, and uh, it was this hunter that uh, was um, hunting a predator in uh, in a in a village and 
eventually he finds out that maybe he's not such the hunter he thinks, but maybe he's the predator too. So that switch, you know, in uh, in roles was uh, was what people were uh, liked a lot. <laughs> now I'm looking at another one, Slave for Sex, which was another short story, and that was released more recently, March of this year. Yes, and that's another anthology, uh, Emerald and Visage. And uh, 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 that's, I don't know, I mean, the, the theme of the anthology is uh, green, emerald, obviously. It's a color, and so something, uh, it had to be something very, uh, you know, very nice, very, very green. <laughs> so I thought of this world, which is so full of uh, this forest, uh, incredible forest that, uh, Someone has to look after. So my my protagonist is actually a uh, he works in the forest. He looks after the plants until he discovers that maybe I mean there are no plants at all. That maybe it's just a desert, <laughs> and that's a shocking. Uh, that shocks him really a lot. <laughs> so my, most of my novels and my and my short stories are all about you know the world that seems like something, but in fact it's totally different from what uh, the characters thought it was. <laughs> kind of like, uh, I mean, um, I'm not saying uh, it's like that, but uh, I read a lot of Philip Dick in my time, and uh, I I loved the way he used, uh, you know, reality versus fantasy to describe real world. So it's like what you think you're seeing, it's actually not what you're seeing. <laughs> Once again, we're, we talked earlier about uh, your book, Sacrificial Sex, uh, let's let people know about your website. Once again, it's uh, www.lalagata.com, and that is spelled L-A-L-L-A-G-A-T-T-A, lalagata.com. So it's L-A-L-L-A-G-A-T-T-A.com. I want to thank you for joining us on Reader's Entertainment Radio. Laura, it's no. been wonderful to have you with us. No, thank you for having me. <laughs> really, it's, it's been my first experience, and uh, I must say, really a great one. So I hope I'll, uh, I'll have the chance to repeat it again sometime. <laughs> We'd love to have you back. It's been wonderful having you. Thanks. Thank you a lot. <laughs> From the award-winning Circle of Seven Productions, my name is David Ewan, and you have been listening to Reader's Entertainment Radio. My guest today has been Laura Tolomei, and she's the author of Sacrificial Sex. Her website is www.lalagata.com, and that is spelled www.lalagata.com. Again, that's L A L L A G A double T A dot com. Lalagata dot com. Check out her book and also check out her latest book, Sacrificial Sex. This show brought to you by Circle of Seven Productions www.cosproductions.com. Please be sure to subscribe and welcome to our circle.